NASCAR has issued fines and suspensions for the Ricky Stenhouse Kyle Busch fight, plus, Richard Childress says he's ready to fight Ricky Stenhouse Jr. <laughs> Welcome back to Break Hard. My name is Matt. The Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Kyle Busch fight continues to overshadow the fact that Joey Logano won Sunday night's NASCAR Cup Series All-Star Race at North Wilkesboro. And then penalties typically are announced on Tuesday, but NASCAR had to announce the new Hall of Fame class. Congrats to Carl Edwards, Ricky Rudd, and Ralph Moody on making it in. Well, Ralph's not going to hear that, but it's the sentiment that matters, right? On Wednesday morning, NASCAR announced the penalties for the Kyle Busch Ricky Stenhouse Jr. fight, and they were substantial considering the fact that NASCAR has been using this fight literally everywhere on social media. And Ricky Stenhouse Jr. was given a $75,000 fine. His dad, Richard Stenhouse Sr., has been suspended indefinitely, where I think we all knew that was going to happen. And then his mechanic, Clint Myrick, suspended eight races. His tuner, Keith Matthews, suspended four races. And there were no penalties for Kyle Busch or the eight team. I have an issue with a lot of these penalties, honestly. Actually, I don't have an issue with any of the suspensions. I think eight races might be a bit much. But when you go all WWE, lean over the ropes and start trying to choke a driver out, yeah, that I can see where that comes from. So honestly, don't really have a problem with the suspensions. Uh, Ricky's dad getting suspended indefinitely. We saw Joey's dad have his hard card and get suspended as well. Uh, no, like a decade and a half ago at this point but so th none of that surprised me $75,000 for Ricky obviously that's not a lot of money but in the in the list of NASCAR penalties for fighting it's pretty substantial for the fact that like no blood was drawn uh, the drivers really didn't have that much going on between them other than that first initial punch and then they were separated really quickly Matt Crafton, last year at Talladega, waited on Nick Sanchez, jumped out from behind some tires, and sucker punched him in the face, left him bloodied, and he got a $25,000 fine. No suspension. And I don't agree with that. Obviously, we're looking at two different pay tiers here, right? Like, Cup Series drivers make a lot more than Truck Series drivers. So when you look at it proportionally, yeah, they're probably the same in terms of, you know, the penalty versus what, you know, the salary is. But optically it looks bad right because you have one fight that leaves a driver looking like a bloody mess sanchez got messed up right there and then you have another one where a driver kind of pillow punches kyle bush in the side of the head it wasn't as much as ricky fans are like oh he cocked back and got him he that wasn't great contact that was that was bad contact that looks like you know those instagram videos of girls that go to the boxing gym and they think that they're moving really fast boxing and you're like those punches carry no weight behind them that's what happened with ricky's punch right there i guess the bigger problem is the fact that lost in all of this is kyle bush intentionally wrecked ricky stenhouse jr and gets no penalties out of it even though a precedent has been set by nascar if you intentionally wreck somebody they have been handing out suspensions we saw it happen with bubble walls we saw it happen with chase elliott and now optically those two wrecks looked much worse than this one because they were at high speed intermediate tracks and the wrecks the ensuing wrecks one to kyle larson one to denny hamlin looked brutal this wreck at a short track doesn't necessarily look brutal but that doesn't change the fact that it was still an intentional wreck and yeah, it's an exhibition race, so honestly, I don't really care at the end of the day because it doesn't affect the points, but it does affect the bottom line of JTG Doherty Racing, and now they have to repair that car and, you know, everything that goes along with that, plus they had a last place finish out of the race. So I, I ha that's probably the only thing I have an issue with here. The fine, whatever. It is a bit hypocritical to continue to use the fight footage, but also fine the guys for, for doing it. The suspension's totally on board with, but for Kyle Busch to get off scot-free it doesn't really make that much sense considering like i said there's been a precedent here now ricky stenhouse jr during that fight said he'll wreck kyle bush at charlotte this upcoming weekend in the coke 600 which led to richard childress addressing that yesterday so chris weaver caught up with richard childress outside of the helping a hero dinner uh tuesday night and richard was asked about the ricky stenhouse jr fight and essentially said that he's ready to fight Ricky if Ricky wrecks the number eight car. And keep in mind here, Richard Childers is 78, almost 79 years old. Take a listen to what he had to say. Yeah, I mean, I would have jumped right in the middle of it. Uh, and then what? Well, I would have started fighting. I don't fight as fair as I used to. I'm a little older. But Ricky Stenhouse said that he was going to wreck the eight car at Charlotte. Well, when I see him, I'm going to tell him if he does, I'm older but I've just changed my style of fight. He'll carry a rough ass beat. 
who is Richard trying to fool right here? Because let's be honest, the guy couldn't beat up the punching dummy that Dick Sporting Goods. You know the one I'm talking about. We've all walked by and punched it. He couldn't beat up a team of little leaguers. He's 78, almost 79 years old. He said he doesn't fight fair anymore. What does that mean? If Ricky Stenhouse Jr. was an animal on the safari, Richard might be able to get him because that wouldn't be fighting fair. He'd be using, you know, bang, bang to get him. Is he going to have Mike Dillon come down and hold him so he can beat him up like he's in the Sopranos? I don't understand what Richard's talking about here because all Ricky would have to do if Richard lunged at him step to the side Richard's gonna fall down because he's an old man probably break a hip something like that I appreciate old guys always wanting to be tough I appreciate guys that always think that they're the toughest guy in the room Richard Childers is 5'7 nearly 80 years old at no point is he beating up anybody regardless if he fights fair or not if you know weapons aren't included here but Ricky Stenhouse Jr. has absolutely nothing to worry about in this situation I mean Richard can talk a big game, but even at the beginning of the clip, you can hear them be like, and do what when he says he's going to fight because he's an older man. At 5'7", I would just stand there, put my hand on his forehead and hold him back. And he'd be trying to, you know, try to punch and he just couldn't do it. It's got short little T-Rex arms compared to my arms, at least. But yeah, it's very funny to me that Richard said he'd go out there and fight Ricky Stenhouse Jr. And Ricky's a scrapper. Like, at no point is Ricky going to give up and get beat up by an old man like he's Kyle Busch getting put in a headlock and having the top of his head towned on. So, <laughs> at the end of the day, Richard can talk a big game. I just don't think that he's actually going to be able to beat up anybody, whether he thinks that he can whoop uh, Ricky Stenhouse personally or not. But it's funny. Like, I, I guess it would probably be considered elder abuse on Ricky's part if he actually did punch him. Like, there's, there's a no-win for Ricky. Because, like, if he lets Richard punch him, then people are like, oh, you got beat up by an old man. But then if he punches Richard, everybody's like, you beat up an old man. So the best thing for R Ricky to do would just be step out of the way. It's kind of hard to do. Old man strength is a real thing. But that kind of goes out the window, like, post-59. Maybe when you're, like, 60, you still have a little bit of old man strength. Uh, 79 or 80? I don't think any single person is worried about that unless, of course, they have a weapon. And they do tend to have weapons at times. So eh, Ricky might want to watch out for that one. But <laughs> it's just very funny to me that Richard is out here like, yeah, I'll beat his ass. Which kind of, you know, is representative of RCR as a company. There's a reason that, like, Joe Gibbs, Rick Hendrick, Roger Penske would never say anything like that because their companies win and they have, like, a standard to uphold Meanwhile, Richard's team hasn't won anything of merit in nearly 30 years. No, definitely in 30 years. They have not won anything of merit in terms of a cup championship. So, yeah, maybe you can just say things like this to try to get a rile out of people. But Richard Childress is not beating up anybody. Maybe beat up like Red Farmer. But outside of that, he's not beating up somebody substantially younger than him by what 40 years yeah not a chance that's happening so let me know in the comments what you think about the suspension about what you think about what richard said like and subscribe to the channel follow me on tiktok at break hard instagram and twitter at break hard blog